Well, Jim, on the it's top- your show, though. On the topic of drugs, probably should have consumed more before watching AEW Double or Nothing last night. But let's talk about it. The big event. Everyone wants to hear what you thought. AEW we Double start or Nothing. With this? We got to start with this. This I don't know how long it's going to go. That's why we had to start with it. I didn't know how long that show was going to go. I had three birthdays during that show. I had to time it with a sundial. And you didn't even see the pre-show. No, and, and you told me there was a pre-show. I'm like, what the f- I recorded the event and pressed play and, and where it started is where it started for me. But a, a, there was a pre-show with Rio on the pre-show. And it was and great. And it was her and Serena Deeb. That Serena Deeb tried to teach her how to work this time, right? I'll tell you, I thought the match was great. Of course, as we saw in the early portion of this show, the crowd super hot, which made it even more fun to watch the match. I don't have the problem with Riho that you do. And of course, we've seen so many other goofs that she's moved up the ladder or moved down the ladder. I'm not sure what you want to say. The but Anderson I, principle. That's right. I will say I'm becoming more and more convinced that Serena Deeb may be the single best in-ring wrestler amongst the women in the business. She's she's really good. I would have to concur with that. Um, Serena technically is every time she has a match, it feels like a contest unless it's just with some ridiculous opponent that you just can't take seriously. But she knows how to work. She knows how to make it a contest. All of her shit looks solid. Um, I wish she was, you know, taller and uh, a little bigger and had the, you know, the uh, uh, movie star look because that's the, uh, I mean, not like she doesn't look good to begin with, but she's still a little on the smaller side. If you wanted to feature a girl as the centerpiece of your women's division she has everything except maybe just a little bit more size but even then she's so good and you know but i wonder it seems to me like that they could get more value out of serena running an actual women's school a specific school for women and teaching the rest of their roster how to be almost maybe partially as good as she is well, you know, obviously she comes out of OVW and Rip Rogers. And I mean, even going back years, everyone always said she was well-trained that she knew what she was doing. She was in, I guess the way you say it, she was in NXT just recently as a trainer. They never used her on TV. They never used her as a wrestler. She was there as a trainer. Maybe she made a tournament appearance, but she was never a regular. And then they let her go. And now she's actively wrestling again. And you realize, man. And she's a trainer. Get get Sarah Del Rey out there too. Where's she? Let her start wrestling again, also. Well, yeah, she. They, every time they sign a woman who could actually work uh, and has experience, they make her a trainer. And <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, get her out of the ring. But uh, um, well, you know, I I just realized when you just mentioned that Sarah, I didn't realize that it had been just recently that she was training down there. I knew she's also had experience on the main roster years ago. She also, uh, now that you said that has been training at NXT and they still don't put her on the fucking air. Oh my God. But anyway, I'm sure it was a, a rip snorting contest. I actually think you would have liked it. It was a really good match, even with Riho, one of your least favorites in there. Was she throwing punches with lace doilies attached to her wrist? I can't speak to whether or not her fist was open or closed, but of course, part of the outfit of Riho are the doilies and the <laughs> and the diaper. I don't know what's going on with you. <laughs> Doily and the diaper. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, yeah. Well, I'm sure that those doily <laughs> shots really hurt. 